Beautiful day at the park. Good day for a picnic. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Dang Skippy. Dang Skippy. That's right. You're famous. Be on YouTube. Got the radio. The radio's famous. What? Now the radio's famous. Now the radio's famous. That's right. And got the uh, radio hooked to the Galaxy S8. Got a little keyboard. Do a little PSK31. Watching the signals come down the waterfall. How's that salad? Good. Good. Good afternoon, folks. We're out here at Kinsall Park in Lynn Haven, Florida, and we're operating portable once again, uh, doing it a little bit different today. Y'all know I like to change things up, so uh, rode the bike down here once again. Uh, all the stuff was packed in my 817 Go kit. I've showed that on YouTube before, so y'all can check that video out if you're interested in seeing what I have packed in the Go kit. Um, but we're operating the 817. I've got the MFJ 1899T telescoping whip antenna. We're using uh, PSK31 through my Galaxy S8 phone. And we have that interfaced into the radio using the Wolfie Link interface. Uh, so that's a handy little interface designed for tablets and cell phones, uh, smartphones in particular. And you can uh, uh, you operate digital modes. There's a lot of them you can do with it. Uh, there's uh, RIDI, uh, PSK. You can sit, uh, receive weather facts uh, using this interface. There's an app for it uh, for that. There's uh, also SSTV. There's an app for that as well. All of that can be uh, done using this little Wolfie Link interface. And it's really cool. It plugs into the back of the 817 through a, uh, uh, I think it's a six pin DIN port. And um, uh, yeah, so uh, let me show you what that's all about. All right, so what we have here, there's the 817. I don't even know why I have the microphone plugged in. Uh, but there's the uh, Galaxy S8 phone. And this is the little Wolfie interface. It's a real small box. Uh, on one end, it has your standard headphone, microphone jack for your smartphones. Notice it's a four conductor microphone jack one end gets plugged into the phone the other gets plugged into this and then this is your uh, yep six pin DIN plug that goes from the interface to the back of the 817 now there's different interface plugs you can get for different radios this is the one that works for the 817 so like I said you can do a lot of different modes with this little interface very handy very small very portable and if you're wanting to keep your pack light and not have to carry around a computer to operate digital modes with amateur radio then this little wolfie link is an excellent way to go now the wolfie link does uh, work with several apps uh, there's droid psk droid rtty uh, hf weather facts um, I think there's Droid SSTV, I believe that's what it's called. All of them are put out by the same folks uh, that uh, have this little interface. So uh, there's a website you can go to, and I will make sure that the website gets put right down here at the bottom of the screen so you can see where to go to find out more information about this. But a very handy little interface. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this. Had it for a number of years. And uh, it works great. Uh, so yeah, that's one thing I changed out in the pack today. I've been carrying around the signal link in there, but I wanted to go a little bit lighter today. So we packed in the Wolfie link, got rid of the signal link, and instead of a computer, we've got the uh, Samsung S8, which is plenty powerful enough to run the digital modes. You can see there's a few signals on the waterfall here. See if you can find one that's 
strong enough to decode. There we go. N1 HNY. Pretty strong signal there. Mans are a little bit up and down, which is kind of the way it's been, uh, seems to be the past year. Um, we're at the low point of the solar cycle, so when you're out here operating QRP portable with an antenna such as this, it's quite a compromise. Uh, it's kind of hard to do much with it, but uh, lots of... Uh, uh, lots of opportunity to uh, have fun still, even though band conditions may not be the best. Just trying to find a good signal here we can decode. Here we go, there's a strong one. KA5BJC calling CQ right there. That's a very strong signal, so... Hope y'all can see how that's working. Uh, works uh, pretty well on the small smartphone. A tablet would also do well, but uh, that's just a little bit more weight, and that's another thing to have to carry. But as you can hear, the uh, signals are starting to come back up again. So uh, just up and down, up and down with these signals today. Some of y'all may be wondering what we're using for power. I do have internal batteries installed. Still using those Duracell internal batteries. They are rechargeable. And they're just as good as any other internal battery pack I've found. But what we're using today is this power bank. Once again, y'all have seen this in several of my videos running the FT817. Fantastic little option there. Uh, it's Talent Cell. Talent Cell Power Bank model YB1206000. Uh, you can find that on Amazon. That's where I got mine. I don't believe it was any more than 30 bucks. I tell you what, it's perfect for running an 817. All right. Another thing I've got here today, this is a Targus uh, Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, interfaces with the Samsung phone over there. Uh, this is model AKB. I don't think it's going to focus on it, but AKB 33US Alpha Kilo Bravo 33 Uniform Sierra is the model number of this Targus Bluetooth keyboard. I was on their website a little while ago. I don't believe they make this. It's not manufactured anymore, but I'm sure they have something similar that's a replacement. Uh, it's lightweight, runs off of uh, two uh, AAA batteries. So, the only thing I don't like about this keyboard is if you let it sit for a little while, uh, it will go into a power saving mode and it disconnects from the phone. So you have to hit a key to wake it back up and it takes a second to reconnect to the phone. So if you are trying to type real quick, uh, you got to wake it back up, get it, let it reconnect, and uh, then you can start typing. So uh, not that much of an inconvenience, but it's just something you got to keep in mind as you're uh, using it, especially if you're doing a uh, PSK. You would just be typing away, and uh, I'm a pretty good typer. I might get a sentence out before it uh, reconnects, and then uh, might be you know halfway into a sentence or uh, one sentence into my transmission before I realize, oops, uh, it wasn't connected. So that's a bit of an inconvenience, but you know just something you got to keep in mind. Well, one other thing we've got here, we've got this. Uh, Pike Trail uh, ground cover, uh, place to park your butt and your gear. Uh, it's basically a, a what I would call a picnic 
not a blanket, but ground cover. Uh, it's waterproof and all of that. So if you are sitting on a damp ground, your butt won't get wet <laughs> and your uh, gear won't get wet. So yeah, it's the first time I've had it out today. So just something, something new I've put in my arsenal of ham radio portable gear so I can sit down and, uh, you know, picnic style and operate portable. I'll put a link for this product as well. I didn't spend, uh, it was around 20 bucks. Didn't spend a whole lot of money on it, I guess. I guess that's all relative. You might think it's quite a bit of money to spend on it, but uh, it's nice, it's handy. And it, uh, like I said, keeps your butt dry, keeps your gear dry if you're sitting on a, a damp lawn or damp anything out at the beach, damp sand, anything. Well, one thing I can tell you, it's uh, not as young as I used to be, so it's a little bit rough on my uh, legs trying to sit uh, with my legs folded like I used to when I was a kid. Can't do it anymore. Uh, after a few minutes, it really starts to bother me. I get kind of restless. Um, stretching out, maybe laying down, probably wouldn't be so bad. But trying to sit there, I don't know, it's rough on my lower back and my legs and my knees. So, I guess that's what happens when you get up over 40. Another thing we've got here, I'm just showing all my gear today. Uh, this travel chair, got that from Amazon. Tell you what, I do like that because that goes right on the back of the bike. And I can sit here and it's pretty comfortable. It's like a little stool. And uh, that's what I used the last outing when I was out here on my bike. I uh, set the radio up on that back bike mount and used it as a little table and use this stool to sit on uh, very comfortable so that's kind of it's kind of what I got packed out today I got my my EDC my everyday carry pack over there so that's uh, that's what we've been using nice setup y'all can see man it is a beautiful day don't y'all wish you were here this is just paradise don't want to rub it in your face. I know there are a lot of places in the country are still uh, fighting some pretty cold temperatures, but tell you what, it's 73 degrees out here right now. Nice little breeze coming off the water. Absolute paradise. My wife was out here a little while ago, and y'all saw joined me for a little picnic after she got off work. That was nice, but she, uh, Got up and get to go to work at 5 o'clock this morning. She had to be there at 5, so she was a little bit tired and went home to take a nap. Left me out here to uh, enjoy the day. Um, beautiful. But, you know, I rode the bike down here. She drove the van, so she's back at the house. And uh, I'm going to play radio here a little bit more and see if I can't log contact. If I do great, if I don't, you know, that's all right. I like fishing. Sometimes you catch some, sometimes you don't. But it's uh, to me, it's all about the experience, getting out and operating. I mean, come on, guys, look at this. Look at this view. Who wouldn't like to be out here and have a view like this from your ham shack? Which is exactly what this is. This is my ham shack. And who wouldn't love to have a view like this from from theirs? So that's why I like getting outdoors and operating because uh, it gets you out of the house. I use it to uh, get a little bit of exercise and uh, and all that, so. Um, and you know, you can operate from different places, so uh, the view from your ham shack can be, you know, different every time, which is really nice. Uh, all right, we're gonna get back on this radio here and see if we can't log a couple more contacts. All right, there you go, folks. Just wanted to give y'all a parting shot of my view today here at Kensal Park on the bay in Lynn Haven. Are you jealous? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it. Didn't really have a whole lot to show today. Just wanted to uh, get down to the park and play around a little bit. 
show y'all what I got and what I'm up to. So uh, just another another tool in the arsenal there for ham radio, that Wolfie Link. And I've been able to hook it up to a Galaxy S8 phone. Uh, it's, uh, it's really kind of cool. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. More to come, more outdoor adventures, more ham radio, and uh, whatever else. You never know. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. It's 73. This is KK4DIV. Bob signing off till next time. So long, folks.